Widely revered as the best fast food joint in America, In-N-Out Burger is an iconic institution. But just how much do you really know about the place? Here are a few facts about the real Burger King you probably don't know. In-N-Out diners with an insatiable appetite might be familiar with one of the not-so-secret menu items, the 4x4, also known as the Quad Quad. It's a ginormous burger with four beef patties, four slices of cheese, and all the fixings, stacked in your standard In-N-Out bun. While four patties might seem like plenty, back in 2006, a few overzealous customers pushed the limits of the multiple patty system by ordering a 100 by 100 a you guessed it, 100 patty behemoth with a price tag of $97.66 and an estimated 19,490 calories. The bad news, according to former In-N-Out workers on Quora and Reddit, is that the restaurant no longer allows you to order anything bigger than a quad quad because of this 100 by 100 stunt. There go our dreams of a 6 by 6. It shouldn't be too surprising from a company whose tagline is quality you can taste, but In-N-Out goes above and beyond when it comes to the quality of their food. In fact, Business Insider reports that the reason you don't see the fast food chain across the country is because they refuse to use frozen patties, and they will only open stores within 300 miles of their patty-making facilities located in California and Texas. This ensures the product can be delivered fresh to each restaurant every day. This commitment to quality extends to every ingredient. The lettuce is hand leafed, the fries are hand cut, the buns are freshly baked, the shakes are made with real ice cream, and you will never find a microwave or heat lamp in any store. Ever. All In-N-Outs in Texas shut down for 48 hours back in June 2018 due to subpar buns. Yes, buns! Though it might seem like a trivial reason to close, the chain is just that committed to serving the best, fluffiest burger buns you ever sunk your teeth into. The company said in a statement at the time, We recently discovered that our buns in Texas do not meet the quality standards that we demand. There was and are no food safety concerns. We decided to close all of our Texas stores until we are confident that we can serve our normal, high-quality bun. No word on what the bun issue actually was, but the company's reaction certainly proves how serious they are about their burgers. In-N-Out has always been committed to using 100% fresh beef that's free of additives, preservatives, and fillers. But what about antibiotics? A 2018 report from the Public Interest Research Group that ranked 25 different burger chains on their policies relating to antibiotic use gave In-N-Out a big fat F, a grade also earned by pretty much every other burger chain you can think of. Why all the failing grades? Here's what the report says. In-N-Out Burger publicly announced in 2016 that it intended to source beef raised without medical important antibiotics. Despite requests to do so, the company has yet to follow through with a time-bound commitment or provide any updates on its progress. In case you're wondering, Shake Shack and BurgerFi were the only chains in the report to receive A grades for sourcing beef raised without antibiotics. Attention, In-N-Out cookout trailers exist and will come to you on location to make all of your In-N-Out fantasies come true. Think about it, an In-N-Out wedding, an In-N-Out baby shower, an In-N-Out family reunion, all vastly improved by a truck full of burgers. There are a few things you should know, however, before you book the food truck of your dreams. For starters, only those lucky enough to live in certain parts of Southern California or the Dallas-Fort Worth area need apply. You'll also need plenty of real estate. 70 feet of parking space is required for the massive trailer. So far, so good? Here comes the really bad news. Before you get your heart set on the full In-N-Out dining experience, know that only burgers are available from the truck, not fries or shakes. And then there's the sizable $1,700 minimum charge. But hey, that's a small price to pay for on-demand double-doubles, right? 